We can actually slow down the aging process by the food that we eat. Wellness coach Christine Phillips explains, so take a look at this. Hello, my name is Christine Phillips from Health Yourself. I'm a certified health coach and chef. Well, I'm sure you've heard of that saying, age is but a number. Well, I've just turned a year older and I must say I'm feeling better than I've ever felt before. Much better than in my 30s. I have a lot more energy and full of life and it's purely because I've changed my diet and my habits. Food and exercise is critical in the prolonged aging process. So it can either accelerate it or delay it. So I'm going to show you a quick look into Nature's Kitchen about what we can add into our diets to help boost our skin, our complexion, make us full of energy and feel younger. So let's have a look. Here we've got some beautiful berries. We've got raspberries, blackberries and blueberries. These are packed with flavonoids, which are actually a great powerful antioxidant for your skin. So add some of those into your smoothies in the morning with a bit of Greek yogurt, which is a great probiotic. And now we move on to cruciferous foods. These are fabulous for your immune system. Cruciferous foods are things like cauliflower, broccoli, cabbages, red and white, radishes, really, really good for you. So the other fabulous thing to eat is tomatoes. Now these are fabulous because they actually protect your skin against sun damage and cancer. So eat them raw or cooked, but do add them to all your salads. In fact, you can make a beautiful salad with all these ingredients. Our next incredible ingredient is spinach. This stuff you should be having every single day. It's packed with vitamin K, it's good for blood clotting. It is really good for your skin. The next one I'm gonna show you is watermelon. I love watermelon. Oh, and you really do need to have it with the seeds. So don't be picking out all the seeds when you have your watermelon. The seeds contain your vitamin A, B, C and E. So a lovely bowl of watermelon in the morning is a fantastic way to hydrate your skin as well. Good things to add into your diet or eat more of are things like salmon, really, really good omega-3s, healthy fats, just hydrates your skin and your hair, as well as avocado. This beautiful food, which you can have every single day, it's so addictive, contains vitamin E and your omega-3s. So these two combined, fabulous. One of my real favorites is a sweet potato. There is so much you can do with a sweet potato and the health benefits are incredible. If this is the only thing you eat, you will be absolutely okay. It's packed with all your nutrients that you need, fiber, all your vitamins. It's just a real essential element in your diet. And I think you've seriously got to change from a normal potato to a sweet potato purely for all of its health benefits. Eggs are packed with protein, vitamin E. It's essential in our lives. It's a good thing to have in the morning, especially as a breakfast. But if you can't fit it in in the morning and you prefer to have a beautiful smoothie with all your greens and your berries, then pop the egg in to your lunchbox and have it at lunchtime. The best of all is a walnut. Now walnuts keep in your drawer um, as snacks during the day. This specific nut contains selenium and zinc. Really, really good for hydrating. It also contains essential oils, which are really, really good for your hair as well as your skin. Now, one other tip you need to think about with your skin is that you take care about what you're putting on it. So make sure you read your labels of your cosmetics that you're using and your skin products. Try and go for a little bit more natural things. So one of my little things that we use at home is good old apple cider vinegar. You could use any one you want, but you use a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with two tablespoons of water. So mix that together, dab it with some cotton wool and tone your skin with that. Another one that I use, especially for my teenage daughter, is freshly squeezed lemon with a little bit of honey. That combination is really, really good for washing your skin and it's antibacterial and just helps with all those skin problems that teenagers might have. 
So I'm very excited to tell you about my Health Yourself Wellness Day that is happening on the 28th of March at the Forum in Johannesburg. It is going to be such a beautiful morning filled with cooking demonstrations, guest speakers like Tanya Fisser from The Gardener, as well as Robin Smith from Faithful to Nature and myself. Real Health and Health Yourself are giving away two tickets for you and a friend to come and join us on the Wellness Day for those living in Johannesburg. All you have to do is SMS wellness to 41703. So get ready and um, we'll see you in Joburg soon. That's it from me, Christine Phillips. Stay young.